recommendations. Some of us have a few, some of us have a lot. Some of us have none. Is that important? And if we have some, should we be seeking actively to refresh them so that the next time someone visits our profile, they find something new that someone else has said about us? Does all that matter? Yes, it matters. And you're looking at one person who's guilty of not having any. Um, oh. It's on my to-do list. Um, it, again, it kind of goes with the right connections. It's got to be the right recommendations. Sometimes I um, will coach someone who has wonderful recognition or um, recommendations, but they're dated. And what I mean by that is they're from, you know, 2008, whatever. And what I often will say to them is thinking about who you are today and also where you want to land your career, um, who would be the right individuals to provide some insight or recommendation? Sometimes it is the people that you know, have provided in the past. If that's the case, then reach back out to them and ask if they would be willing to update it so that the date changes. Um, so that it becomes more current because we want relevant and current recommendations. And again, thinking broadly from different parts of your life, you know, perhaps some are professional. Maybe there is a community organization that you're involved with or a board that you're on or one of your direct reports that can speak to your leadership style. So recommendations on LinkedIn um, have kind of taken the not completely, but the place of recommendations that you might supply or references at the end of an interview. So really you're being proactive with that process and giving people a little bit of insight as to um, how you are seen or what they would say about you. So it is appreciated. There's no magical number. I would say, and I see this sometimes, you don't need 10 or 15. If you have three to five really solid recommendations, that is extremely helpful.